Good morning everyone, myself Sulakshana. I am going to say on an important topic. It is very different but very common. The a dietary supplements, it is going to be a part of your healthy lifestyle. Can you tell me everyone you are health conscious? For conscious for diet, conscious I will say for the healthy lifestyle. What is healthy lifestyle? Each person need to have a well being that is having a disease free person, a good fitness practices, having a good immunity power that is very important. Here I will say a well being which is a good having a good immunity power and having fulfilling all recommended dietary allowances for the nutrition. Here I will say all micronutrients and macronutrients has to be fulfilled as per the RDA. If you see most of the people I will say 80 percent population in India not fulfilling this or uh, whatever the requirements which, which we required. But if you see the commonly, uh, commonly we have seen calcium, iron, protein, vitamin D and B2, B12, these are very commonly seen deficiency. So we have to see that how to fulfill. So people go for the dietary supplements and yes they, they are choosing nowadays the dietary supplements. But to choose a dietary supplement, vitamin and minerals comes first in the mind. So vitamins comes from the organic substance and minerals comes from the inorganic substance and these we have to be taken in a very small amount which does not require to take a very uh, high amount because whatever dietary supplements we are taking it is just to add the additional requirement of your diet. It will just it is not a medicine it is just additional input in a nutritional status. So two things you have to keep in mind. One. Do you require the dietary supplement? Think. If it is required, what type of dietary supplement required? There are two things. One is basic foundation products where what is your protein is required, a basic uh, micronutrients are required. And secondly, if the person is a patient, he need to see the whatever the drugs he is consuming, some dietary supplements may give the adverse effect after the consuming of supplements. So secondly, uh, I will say that when the person is uh, taking the dietary supplement, he has to see whether that particular dietary supplement is regulatory given a good uh, certification has approved by the FDA. So each and every person have to see whether the things have uh, the labeling has been done properly. So person has to do some studies, the person has to really go to the scrutinizing process. So see that product, the supplementary product is there in the market from long period, are they taking the proper uh, guidelines from the FDA, is the proper dosage is mentioned, is the proper ingredients are mentioned and are they giving the uh, some instructions for usage. So that is very important. Someone is saying take this supplement, doctors may suggest take this supplement, that is not the only right thing. You as a person, everyone is health conscious, need to study your own requirement, what you have to take in a dietary supplement. So lastly I will say some examples, for example the person is a having a cholesterol, high cholesterol problem and the person is having the fish liver oil supplement intake and the person is taking into whatever the uh, supplement and the person is not following the proper intake of good fat or the low fat diet or the high fiber or the low fiber, he is not worried about it. So there is no meaning of taking the supplements. Second, each child nowadays having a lifestyle, having a, a junk food diet lifestyle, a sedentary lifestyle. So if you see obesity is increasing. So one of the reason is the child is uh, lacking uh, maybe a multinutrient and the mineral uh, supplements are not maybe uh, that is lacking in the diet. So each uh, person, each family need to say are they fulfilling their nutritional. So without supplement can you manage your nutritional status? Yes, you can. There are four ways I, will, I would like to say, four pillars. First, regular exercise that is I will say less sit in a day. Second, you are taking proper rest that is 6 to 8 hours. Third, are you taking, uh, are you having your attitude toward positive? Second, toward the rest, uh, stress free life because that is a very important uh, pillar and that uh, along with the spiritual quotient. And the fourth pillar is very important is the nutrition. But how you should uh, follow this? Very good uh, example I will give. Each and every person should boost the immunity by taking all colorful fruits and vegetables good balanced carbohydrate, good balanced protein and lastly good fat but low fat and along with this the person can manage the nutrition. So this is the way you can maintain 
but I will say you have to be a little smart when you are consuming the dietary supplement. That is all for, for this. Thanks a lot.